<laughs> Why does this happen every time? I feel like I post on YouTube for like a week and then I come back being like Where has been? Uh, why have not been uploading? I'm sad. I'm happy. I'm sad. Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. I haven't posted a vlog in a little while. Uh, I've tried to vlog, and my life's just been very dull. It's been full of drama, but just very dull. I feel like a lot has happened. Also, like, not directly to me. I feel like it's just been a couple of weeks where we've needed to be there for our friends, and we've needed to be more present in the moment, and we've needed to just... But also it's been one of the busiest weeks of my like life in terms of work things. I've had a lot of ads and stuff to do. I just feel like we've all said as a, as a friendship group, i.e. me, Anna, Haz, Freya, Callum, we all keep saying, and Lewis, we can throw Lewis in the mix. Collectively we've all been saying, I don't think anything else can go wrong. And then Freya, POV, Freya's walking along a flat surface. Like no bumps in the road, nothing. Flat, flat land. And she somehow just manages to break her foot. Now, I'm not saying break her foot in like a, oh my God, she fucking broke her foot, break a leg. She actually has like snapped her bone. Like the bone snapped, broke. You see the bone, gone. She's on crutches. I feel like Florence Nightingale. I have been playing nurse. So I've been going over to Freya's and like, you know, cooking her some food and giving her some entertainment, swinging around on her crutches. I've been doing the most. I need to go around and take her bins out today, actually. It's bin day. <laughs> POV, I made a cup of tea. Imagine if I vlogged like this. <laughs> Ta-da! It's nine in the city And I'm on my way back home I think I'm gonna cut my hair myself. I don't know how this is gonna go, but um, I feel ugly and gross, and I don't wanna pay just to have the size of my hair shaved. Basically, my barber's is quite expensive. I mean, it's not expensive because she's incredible, but um, I just want the sides shaved, and I don't wanna pay 30 pounds to have the size of my hair shaved. Believe it or not, I wanna try and save some money. So, I'm gonna try and do it myself. What could possibly go wrong? A lot, hell of a lot, hell, hell of a lot, hell of a lot. <laughs> Rule number one, to be a boss ass bitch, never, under any circumstances, decide to cut your own hair at home. I mean, with a hat on, I look fine, but if I said, in fact, let's take a seat because this is, this is, needs to be, this is spoken word, this is some sort of poetry. Out thou, Romeo. Put a finger down if you have just cut your hair. Cut the top fine, the top and the back's looking fine. I mean, I don't know what the back looks like, I can't really see it, so hopefully the back looks fine. To me, the back looks fine, but I don't have eyes in the back of my head. But put a finger down if you have done all that. Try to save yourself money by going to the barber shop because you literally went last week and your hair just grows at rapid speeds. But now the sides of your hair look like they've been um, shaved by a blind person with no arms. Put a finger down. <sighs> I'm impressed with my technique for the top. I've put some little choppy bits in, made it a bit textured. But this is where I fucked it. This is where I fucked up. I took some length out of here and left some length here. I'm a barber. My approach to blending is just non-existent. I've now had to book an appointment with my hairdresser who is always, always fully booked. So for the, God must have known that this was gonna happen to me because I literally have to book weeks in advance to get my hair cut, went on, the app to book my haircut, there were one slot available before Flossie's birthday, and it happens to be today, happens to be in an hour's time. Crisis is gonna shortly be avoided. However, I tried to save money, babes, and now I'm gonna have to pay full whack. I'm annoyed because I've actually cut the top of my hair myself. I mean, whilst I'm there, I'm gonna get her to just go over it and knee and things up. She's a fucking incredible barber. I am not. I'm paying the money, I may as well just get a little nip and tuck everywhere, but, I tried to save some money and it's fucking backfired. <laughs> day 
and I should probably just explain where I've been and how this everything's just going wrong. Obviously the last time I spoke to you, I said I was going into town to get my hair cut. Did in fact do that. Then I did in fact meet Lewis for Anandos, and then I came home, cried a little bit. In fact, no, before I cried, I laid on the floor, just did nothing, thought about my life for a hot sec, and then I cried, and then I fake tanned, and then I sat in my fake tan for a hot minute, watched Drag Race, and then from Drag Race, I showered, and then I went to bed, and now it's the next day. I did in fact have my hair cut, and the sides have been but also my hair is now very short. The reason it's very short is because obviously I wanted to just get the sides fixed. I like the length of my hair, but I was paying like 30 odd pound, like I said, and I thought to myself, if I'm paying all this money, I may as well actually have a haircut. And now I'm a little bit bald. So I kind of cried about that yesterday because I thought to myself, would I have preferred to be bald or would I have preferred just to have the harsh lines in my hair? But hi everyone, today is now the next day. The glow up continues. I'm actually going tomorrow to London and I have not tried on any outfits. So I don't know what I'm gonna wear. It's a masquerade ball, so I ordered some masks. I don't know if these are the masks. Masks. Why is my mouth got masks? Masks. Masks. Mask number one. I feel like I'm gonna look fucking awful in every single one I try on. This is the vibe mask number one's giving me. I look like a fucking idiot. Like I actually look ridiculous. I look like Elastigirl. Maybe that's not the one that I'm gonna be wearing. This is this mask. Some of these, I don't know how this is meant to fit my eye. Maybe I'm lopsided. Just tell me you need a nose job without telling me you need a nose job. It's made for someone with a really perfectly straight nose, which I apparently, well, I don't have. My face is slightly lopsided. So maybe we can make this work, otherwise I'm wearing it like this and I have one eye. Now, I think this one is not gonna be the one. This is more of like a lower half face mask. This could be quite fun. I feel like a masquerade ball, typically, you wear it over your eyes. But I feel like this is more of like a little remix. I actually hate them all. Anyway, I need to um, figure out what I'm wearing today. I feel like this portion of the video is probably gonna be me crying even more. I cry a lot. I maybe wanna put a little layer of fake tan on my body. For some reason, my face is a lot darker than the rest of it. And I just need to like pack my bags, figure out what I'm gonna wear. So just come along. Hopefully I actually film some things today because yesterday was a big fat fucking fail. Also, if anyone knows how to one, get over a cold in 24 hours and also grow a full fringe in 24 hours, Please do let me know. Right, so you're just gonna have to ignore the state of my dressing room and the floor and everything around me. But this, now I'm looking at it in the camera, looks fucking awful. I didn't actually try it on properly. Until now, I thought these Zara boots, I've had these years, and then the Bottega ones like came around to be trendy this year. So I kept these, and then I just put some leather look trousers on. This one more, ignore the hair, obviously I'd look a little bit more presentable than I do right now. But this one more, the plan, or the idea, when I didn't know what the venue was gonna be like. I don't know if the venue is like really dresser in fact i do know now that it's like an actual like ballroom type of venue like a burlesque i think they do burlesque performances there normally obviously Fossey's privately hired the place i was more so thinking this could be fun if it were like a club i didn't know if it were like a club room that she'd hired which would then turn into a club i mean i'm not gonna lie i hate this too i feel like anything that makes me look like i'm trying to be small i just don't suit i feel like some boys when you see people in suits like lewis in a suit i'm like have my actual children. But I don't think I possess those qualities. You know, I feel like twink in a suit doesn't really give the same effect. So I feel like if the blazer wasn't oversized, then it wouldn't look like I've just got in my dad's wardrobe and like stole his outfit. I've, I can't do anything at this point. I've got to deal with what I've got and I'm not going to try and impress anyone. I'm going for a fun time. And um, if it fits the masquerade ball, masquerade, masquerade ball theme, then um, it's just gonna have to do. I just feel like I'm like going for a job interview or like going to school. That's it, I'm not going. I mean, that is a lie. I am definitely gonna be going because one, I will get severe FOMO and also it's Fossey's fucking birthday, so I'm going. I don't really care about what I'm wearing. Everyone there, I know when I get there, I'm gonna hate my life because everyone else is gonna look really cool and smart and sexy and fun and beautiful and I'm not. And this is my life. This is why you don't have pretty friends because you're the ugly friend and it just never feels good, you know? Um, and this is now the part that I hate the most because I have to plan outfits whilst putting them in my suitcase with no energy to actually try anything on. So everything will just be whimmed and probably overpacked. I'm gonna put on a podcast. I feel like this entire video, I've been a big Debbie Dana. I've been a big Demi Dan Dem Demi, Demi Lovato. I've been a big Deb Debbie.
This is why I don't do YouTube anymore because I quite frankly cannot actually speak at all. Three, two, one. Hopefully it's packed after that transition. Oh, the suitcase is a completely different way, but it's packed. She's full to the brim. I'm not even going to open it to show you my packing. She's packed. They're the shoes I'm wearing tomorrow. These are the rejected clothes that I was wanting to pack. I need to pack all this away and I also need to pack like that bag. I need to put my toiletries in. But she's going to London, bitch. It's happening. <laughs>